Biogeochemical cycles. We saw that the biosphere has both biotic and abiotic components. There is an interaction between these components. The balance is maintained by the biogeochemical cycle. Biogeochemical cycle is the circulation of chemical element or molecule from biotic to abiotic components and back to the biotic again to repeat the cycle. It has biological, geological and chemical factors and has repetition, hence the name biogeochemical cycle. There are many such cycles in nature, water, nitrogen, carbon and oxygen cycle. Let's look at the water cycle now. The water cycle. The water from the water bodies like rivers, seas or ocean evaporate to form clouds. From plants and respiration from animals also adds the water vapor for the condensation to form clouds. When the water in the clouds is heavy enough, it then precipitates onto the land in different forms like rain or snow. Some part of this rainwater seeps into the land forming groundwater and the rest joins the water body. The cycle repeats from evaporation to condensation to precipitation. So, why is this cycle important? It is in this cycle the terrestrial organisms use water for various life processes and importantly, the water enriches itself with lots of soluble minerals which are used by both land as well as marine organisms.